the Lord of Hosts, Mastrath, the host of the battle. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord, and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. Howl ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt, and there shall be afraid, pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another, their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land a desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. But the stars of heaven, and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. And they heard a great voice from heaven, saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. At the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell. And in the earthquake was slain of men seven thousand, and the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second world was passed, and behold, the third world cometh quickly. My righteousness is near. My salvation has gone forth, and mine arms shall judge the people. The isles shall wait upon me, and on mine arm shall they trust. Lift up your eyes to the heavens, and look upon the earth beneath. For the heavens shall vanish away like smoke, and the earth shall wax old like a garment, and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, saith the Lord, which destroyest all the earth. And I will stretch out mine hand upon thee, and roll thee down from the rocks, and will make thee a burnt mountain. And they shall not take of thee a stone for a corner, nor a stone for foundations. But thou shalt be desolate for ever, saith the Lord. Set ye up a standard in the land, blow the trumpet among the nations, prepare the nations against her, call together against her the kingdoms of Ararat, Minai, Ashkenaz, appoint a captain against her, cause the horses to come up as the rough caterpillars, prepare against her the nations with the kings of the Medes, the captains thereof, and all the rulers thereof, and all the land of his dominion, and the land shall tremble and sorrow. For every purpose of the Lord shall be performed against Babylon, to make the land of Babylon a desolation without an inhabitant. Yahweh, watch him, Yahweh, watch him, Yahweh.